Hello and welcome to another episode of Kiji Explains. My name is Gavin and today we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of CNG. Well, I'm here in Goa currently driving the all-new Tata Ultra's iCNG as you can tell. Um, unfortunately, there's an embargo on the car so I cannot tell you any opinions about it. But I, what I can talk about is CNG as a subject. So today's episode is dedicated about that essentially. So now, uh, what are the advantages of CNG? So for starters, uh, CNG can be locally produced in India itself, so you don't have to rely on foreign oil or something like that, uh, thereby keeping the price of CNG relatively cheaper and a lot more affordable. That's one thing. Second thing is that CNG burns a lot more cleaner. It's unlike LPG, for example, it's not as corrosive. So it keeps your engine healthier. Uh, those are two things. Now, on the contrary, people normally think that it's not, it's not healthy for your engine, but uh, it's actually quite quite decent for your engine. Now, uh, let's talk about a few disadvantages of CNG. Now, the main advantage of CNG is the fact that, okay, it's it's easy on the pocket and it's also, well, it's eco-friendly because, again, uh, the kind of fuel you're burning, the emissions you're releasing after burning CNG are considerably lower. So, these are few of the advantages of CNG, but what about the disadvantage of CNG? Now, one of the most common disadvantages that we associate with CNG is the fact that you have no more boot capacity left. And that is something that Tata aims to solve with the Ultros CNG. So as you can tell, boot and CNG packed underneath over here. Now the Ultros uses two different tanks. Uh, you've got uh, two 30 liter tanks essentially in the back um, that total up 60 liters. And that's essentially how they take care of CNG. And as you can tell, they have a boot. So this problem is not something that cannot be overcome. It clearly can be overcome. So. Uh, I wouldn't exactly call that as a disadvantage. Sure, it is a disadvantage if you are getting a CNG tank fit aftermarket. So that can cost you anywhere in the ballpark of about 30 to 40,000 rupees and can take up a whole amount of boot space. But here, as you can tell, this is one example of a company that solved the problem. Uh, in the future, I'm guessing there will be more. So I wouldn't exactly call that as a through and through disadvantage. I would say it's a partial disadvantage depending on if you're buying a new CNG car, if you're buying an aftermarket one, whichever one works. Now, another disadvantage of CNG is the fact that it's not nearly as punchy when it comes to performance. So you are sacrificing performance, but what you are gaining in exchange is the fact that, okay, you have a bit more efficiency, so to say. Another disadvantage, and to me, this one really gets me, is the fact that there's always a long waiting line at CNG pumps and CNG infrastructures are normally limited to metropolitan cities and maybe few tier two cities. For the most part, a lot of rural areas still rely on petrol and diesel and uh, don't have any infrastructure for CNG, let alone electricity. So these are few of the advantages and disadvantages of CNG. Uh, be sure to stick around to the Top Care India YouTube channel to watch the first drive review of the all new Ultros iCNG. This is Gavin Rodriguez, signing off.